Hey guys, welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. Hey guys, just want to say thank you for the recent subs over the last, what are we, you know, last week or so. I've been trying to go hard in the paint, been trying to cover some news. Uh, it's really hard for me. Uh, it's not that hard. It's a little it's a little bit difficult for me to cover some news because obviously I'm not in the States. Uh, I'm nine hours behind on the old NFL, but uh, I'm doing my best trying to cover the team and in the way that I do it, and which is like, you know, a bit weird, a bit silly, but it's all cool um what are we talking about so today guys i guess i want to talk about um maybe like let's do this uh what are we you know what as fans because i'm a super mega fan right you guys are it sounds like a mega phone you guys are a mega fan right um let's do 22 reasons to be excited about the 2022 season nah i'm just joking look we're not going to do 22 reasons but we are going to do what i'm excited about the 20 uh the 2020 ugh. 2022 season uh, for the Pittsburgh Steelers, right? So I think the first thing that I'm excited about, to be very honest, right? And I'm, I'm so optimistic. Like, I don't care if they go, you know, 0 and 17 or whatever. I'm still going to cheer them to win or try and win the last game if they go 0 and 16. Uh, for me right now, what I'm most excited about, you know what I'm going to put out there? I reckon I'm most excited about Najee Harris, to be honest. I think, you know what, you know what, we go out there, we want to go and win Super Bowl. And look, no doubt, I want to win the Super Bowl. I want to go out there and have, have the Steelers win, win playoff games or, you know, have a chance to go to the AFC Championship game or go, or go to the Super Bowl. But I think what I'm most excited about is the, the <laughs> like, Najee Harris, man, this year is going to be insane. Uh, he was insane last year. He's such a humble guy, um, can run the football. He's, he's turning himself into a leader and a leader on the offense, which we need. So I'm excited for him this year to see what can happen because going into that Bengals game is going to be really tough, uh, really, really tough for our, for our running backs. And we don't know who our, who our second running back is going to be. It's Snell, Mateo Duran, Jalen Warren. Uh, we, we just don't know. We don't know who the second running back is going to be, but we know who the first running back is, and that's Najee Harris. So this year in 2022, I think one of the reasons why I'm excited for the whole season is to watch and develop, uh, you know, Najee Harris play. I think that's going to be fantastic to watch. So what else would I be excited about? You know what's also exciting about is, honestly, getting back to getting back to Latrobe, I think, is quite kind of cool. Uh, looking up on Twitter and seeing the fans get around the players, uh, you know, start to take, fo take photos and ask for autographs and that, that steel feeling again. We haven't had that for like two or three years with the whole pandemic and a lot of that you know, nonsense going on because right now, look, it's just, it's nonsense, you know, just get back to life, right? That's what it feels like to me. Just go and live life and let that happen. That's all I'm saying about that. Okay. Let's just move on basically. So we're moving on. Things are getting better. Um, the Pittsburgh Steelers are back at camp and that's fantastic. Like you Cam Haywood's there. You got Minkers out there, Cameron Sutton, TJ Watt, they're out there. They're playing with their family. They're having fun with, with the fans. They're signing autographs. I love that stuff. I'm excited about that stuff. That, that, that intrigues me to love my team even more, even more than I already do. Okay, so I'm excited about that. Uh, what else am I excited about? I'm excited about the upcoming, in a few days' time, I'll be live streaming again. So I'm, I'm, I'll be live streaming the Jacksonville Jaguars versus the, the, Oakland, the Oakland Las Vegas Raiders. Uh, so if you guys like live streaming, I'll be live streaming uh, in two days' time. The Pro Football Hall of Fame is back. I need to go buy my Game Pass on my TV, and I can start to to watch football again. So I will be doing Steelers content throughout uh, the week as we progress forward, and I'll still be watching some games where we can sit back, have a beer, have a laugh, you know, eat some pizza. I won't be eating on stream, but you guys can eat pizza. You can watch the game, and we can do all that fun stuff, right? and have a laugh and watch football because football is back. So I'm excited about that. Uh, but for the Pittsburgh Steelers season, what else am I excited about? Maybe for a chance that I guess this year that everyone, that that a lot of people are counting out the Steelers. In Australia right now, the betting market for the Steelers to go and win the AFC North is $10. They are the worst, uh, they are the worst team that, that, that the betting market thinks they're going to win, right? They, they, everyone's counting them out. Because the, a lot of a lot of NFL analysts think because we lost Big Ben, we ha don't have a quarterback. But what it seems like in the training camp right now is that we have Trubisky, we have Kenny Pickett, who excelled today 
uh, in day in day six, I'm pretty sure, right? And we had we've had Mason Rudolph make some plays too. So we have all three quarterbacks, and I'm not even sure about Chris or the Duke and whatever he's doing. All three quarterbacks kind of getting at it and tr- trying to be that quarterback number one. And a lot of NFL analysts think, well, because we haven't got Big Ben, then then there's no point where the Steelers can't go anywhere. But the Pittsburgh Steelers have a really good defense, right? With the additions of Miles Jack, with the additions of Ogan Joby, signing Minka, Cameron Haywood, TJ What We know it. We all know it. We all know it, right? So I'm excited about that. I'm excited to see Kenny Pickett throw a pass in his first preseason game. Uh, I'm excited to see Mitchell Trubisky throw a pass. And even to a certain extent, Chris Oladukun to, to, to throw a pass in the first preseason game. Uh, now, some people will say preseason football doesn't matter, but it matters to me because I get to go and see the guys on the fringes, um, like is it Tyler Vaughn or um, Cody White, those guys and go out and play who are playing for a job in, in their receiver spots. Or, you know, we get to see Miles Boykin play if he's playing on special teams. We get to see all these things, right? So if you're a major football fan like me, then the preseason games, they excite you. They're, they're fun to watch. Um, Steelers versus Seahawks, yes, we don't care who do, we don't care who wins. At the same time, we are following the team and trying to figure out, you know, who's going to make the roster. If I check the roster right now, right, I don't know who Jake Dixon is or Chris Owens is. They're undrafted uh, offensive line. But if they go out there and excel, I'm excited to see that. I'm excited to see Steven Sims or Anthony Miller. Uh, I think, was it Sims the other day? I think Steven Sims caught six footballs uh, in that drill week, the, the punting, right? It's just, look, newly, newly acquired uh, Javon McKinley, the receiver, okay? And and even to a certain extent, like Kevin Radar on the special teams is always fun to watch, you know? it's it's it's. I know a lot of these players are going to be cut. Like it goes from 90 to 53. But I'm excited to see that process and that transition from going through training camp to preseason, and then finally into the season where we have our final 53, and that's when we can make our mark, no pun intended, on the NFL. So even on defense too, you've got Louder Milk, Montrevis Adams, you've got DeMar- DeMarvin Leal, we can go out and see what can happen. So I'm excited for that. But here's my last point. Let me know in the comments below, because you know where you are. You're on YouTube, you're on YouTube land. Let me know in the comments below what you're excited for. What are you most excited for in the 2022 uh, Steelers season? What 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 make what you know? What wakes you up in the morning and says, "I want to go and watch Steelers football today"? Is it TJ Watt? Is it the new era of quarterback? Is it Najee Harris? Like I said, what makes you excited to to watch our Pittsburgh Steelers? Let me know in the comments below. Hit that like. Hit that. Uh, what am I hitting? What are you gonna hit? Hit that sub. <laughs> Hit whatever you want, all right? And uh, as always, I'll see you guys later. Here we go, Steelers. Here we go.